NASA scientists have been left baffled after recording very strange, eerie sounds deep in space. The scientists left baffled recording ghostly sounds coming from one of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede. On June 7, 2021, NASA's Jupiter space probe, Juno, conducted a close flyby of the giant gas planet and uh, the moon, Ganymede, and recorded some very bizarre sounds that we're going to listen to. They used the probe's waves instrument to record the moon's electromagnetic waves, which are the electric and magnetic waves produced in the magnetosphere, and these were the sounds. Now, these are by comparison Earth's moon on the top left and Ganymede on the bottom left. And you can see the uh, size comparison here. <laughs> support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And this is a rendering of the Juno aircraft outside of, uh, uh, out of, of the atmosphere of uh, Jupiter. Now when the frequency of these waves was shifted into the audio format the result was set of fascinating eerie alien shrieks and howls, as we said, as we heard. The 52nd audio track unveiled at the American Geophysical Union Fall Meeting 2021. Physicist Scott Bolton of Southwest Research Institute and Juno's principal investigator said, this soundtrack is just wild enough to make you feel as if you're riding along as Juno sails past Ganymede for the first time in more than two decades. He says, if you listen closely, you can hear the abrupt change to higher frequencies around the midpoint of the recording, which represents entry into a different region in Ganymede's magnetosphere. Scientists like to transpose data into audio frequency as a way of accessing and experiencing the data. Doing so can often help them pick up on fine details that otherwise might have been overlooked by them. NASA has been recording the mysterious sounds of the solar system with a range of probes, including the Voyager spacecraft, as well as for its planetary missions. And when they are still decoding, while well, they're still decoding, decoding what the new data means, scientists have a few ideas. Now, the facts about Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. And from what we uh, recently found, the ancient Sumerians called Jupiter Nibiru. Now, number two, you can fit 11 Earths across the gas giant equator. Three, Jupiter orbits about 484 million miles from the Sun. For, uh, if Jupiter has a solid core, it's likely the size of Earth. And five, one day on Jupiter lasts 10 hours, but a year is equal to 12 Earth months, uh, 12, Earth, uh, 12 Earth years. Now, physicist and astronomer William Kurth of the University of Iowa said, it's possible the change in the frequency shortly after the closest approach is due to passing from the night side to the day side of Ganymede. And NASA says has, that they have always been fascinated with this moon, Ganymede, the largest moon in our solar system, bigger than the planet Mercury and the dwarf planet Pluto. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope found the best evidence yet for an underground saltwater ocean on the moon Ganymede. They believe that the ocean has more water than all the water on Earth's surface. Can you imagine? Ganymede's ocean is estimated to be 60 miles thick, 10 times deeper than Earth's ocean, and is thought to be buried under 95 miles thick crust of mostly ice. NASA says identifying liquid water is crucial in the search for habitable planets or beyond Earth and in the search for life as we know it. Ganymede is the only moon known to have its own magnetic field, 
which scientists discovered through NASA's Galileo spacecraft back in 1996. The magnetic field causes auroras, which are ribbons of glowing hot electrified gas in regions circling the north and south poles of the moon. And Ganymede was first discovered by Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei in 1610. The discovery, along with finding of three other large moons around Jupiter, was the first time a moon was discovered orbiting a planet other than Earth. Now, this is by Anthony Ashkenaz on Express UK. Now some facts about uh, Ganymede from Wikipedia. Surface area, uh, 8.72 times 10 to the 7 kilometers. That's about uh, 0.171 Earths. And uh, it's uh, the satellite of Jupiter, the largest and most massive of the solar system's moons, the ninth largest object, including the sun, of the solar system. So this is pretty big as a moon. It's the largest without a substantial atmosphere. And uh, possessing a metallic core, it has the lowest moment, moment of inertia factory of any solar uh, solid body in the solar system. And it's the only moon known to have a magnetic field. Outwards from Jupiter, it's the seventh satellite and the third of the Galilean moons, the first group of objects discovered orbiting another planet. And Ganymede orbits Jupiter in roughly seven days and is in a one to two to four orbital residence with the moons Europa and Io, respectively. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Thank <laughs> you.